Well, hello there, good times. So Scar here, bringing you some super awesome Battlefield 3 gameplay along with a tutorial on how to set up your assault rifle kit along with your assault rifle weapon for close to medium range engagements to your medium to long range engagements plus your specialization and your gadgets. So we got the whole nine yards here set up and ready to go. About the gameplay real quick, we came in late. We did some amazing things. We tried really hard. We got the MVP ribbon pulled out from under their legs, but unfortunately we were, we were still unable to take home the victory, but let's get our first graphic up here in our close to medium range assault rifle kit customization. Now we're in our gun here is the M416, and this is my personal favorite gun at the moment, and it is average gun. And that's not a bad thing. Having an average gun that's good at long range, that's good at short range, but doesn't excel at either is the gun that I prefer in that it allows me to run around the map and deal with encounters at a close range, deal with encounters in a long range capacity. I like to be more dynamic when I play this game. I like to run around and do stuff like that. I don't like to just pick up a long range gun, just sit in the back or get a close quarters weapon and sit in a little building. I like to be dynamic, run around, long range, short range, all that stuff. That's what this gun allows me to do. But the holographic for our close to medium range encounters is our best bet in your sight department. It's great in that it has a little circle in the middle and it really helps with dealing with recoil I found over the red dot or any other gun in its category. The next is your foregrip. Now your foregrip, what I want you to do is I want you to get your Allen wrench out. I want you to tighten that thing up on your rail and then throw that Allen wrench away because you ain't taking that foregrip out. That foregrip's going to be your best bet in its own category. It's going to allow a less recoil, which will translate into better accuracy, especially at a medium to longer range. So that is the best bet in that category. Now for your laser sight category. I picked the laser sight over the flashlight because the laser sight actually increases your hip fire accuracy. So that would be better for your close to medium range engagements over the flashlight, which just gives away your position more than your laser sight and also doesn't affect your weapon. So this is something just to play around with because this can hurt your gameplay and also can help it. So it's something to play around with and see what you like and what you don't like. Now we're down to our medium to long range kit customization. We're once again with the M416 and we're gonna keep this thing on fully auto even at long range in that I'm able to, and I think you guys will be able to, self-regulate your ammunition and not just hold down that trigger, but just tap it, just tap it. Just like Happy Gilmore once said, just tap it in. Just tap that trigger with your ACOG and you will make the magic happen. Now, let's go down to our foregrip, self-explanatory, but this is where it's going to shine. It's going to really cut down on that horizontal recoil from long range, and this is where this foregrip shines. Next, we have our heavy barrel. The heavy barrel will decrease our long range uh, recoil, which will bring up our accuracy, but adds more recoil when you go full auto. So avoid the full auto burst so just like i said before tap it in and that's why i removed it from my close to medium range category because of the increased auto recoil now we're going to go into our specialization and our gadgets our first gadget will be the med kit the med kit in my opinion is a great place for especially a new player to start with in that it helps him level up faster and you know it gives you health and it gets you back in the game faster than you otherwise would now we have the defibrillator. The defibrillator is a great asset in that if you're in a squad, you guys are playing the objective, you need to get your boys back in the game quickly to get on that objective. Defibrillate them, always a great bet. If you're not in a squad, defibrillate random people, make them mad, it's funny. Next, we have our ammunition. The ammunition is very important that I found in that you don't really get a great supply and it's really unreliable to try to think that another teammate's gonna give you ammo or you're gonna find a kit on the ground, it might be a sniper kit, you don't want that. So having the ammunition is a great benefit, outweighs all the other specializations in its category. Well guys, this is about the end of the video and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video and we'll see you later.